Hey folks, and welcome to this Twilio tutorial video. This is the third video in our series exploring Twilio programmable voice. Now in the last video, we learned how to make calls to the Twilio API from our own code. However, so far we have used Twimmel bins to host our instructions for what Twilio should do with calls that arrive. Now in this video, you will learn how to use webhooks that serve Twimmel from your own web server. This way we can have more control over the Twimmel that we create. In this video, I'll be using a tool called Engrok. Now it's a really useful tool for web development. When we are working with webhooks, we'll need to have Twilio communicate with our web server. Now in a production environment, your web server will have a public URL. However, we'll be working on our web server locally. Now Engrok creates a temporary tunnel between your local host and a public URL. Now I'll explain more when we get to that part of the video, but I've dropped a link in the description so if you haven't done so already, I'd recommend pausing the video and downloading and installing it now. Once again, I'll be writing code with JavaScript and running it with Node.js. To further along, make sure you have the Node.js runtime installed. But again, I've also dropped the links to the equivalent code in c -sharp, Python, Ruby, Java and even PHP in the description below. So if you prefer to use one of those languages, feel free to follow along those instructions. Now if you're ready, let's get started. Twimble bins are really cool and easy to use, but what if we want to have more control over those instructions? We can actually serve Twimble from anywhere that is accessible via a URL on the internet. Now what we're going to do in this video is we are going to use webhooks to deliver Twimble instructions for Twilio to execute. Now, some of you watching may have never heard of webhooks before, and that's okay. A webhook is a user-defined HTTP callback. Essentially, whenever a certain event is triggered, a HTTP request is made to a URL that you specify. In our case, if your Twilio number receives a phone call, Twilio will make a HTTP request to your web server. When your web server responds with Twimmel, Twilio will take that Twimmel and follow those instructions on how to handle the phone call. All right, to build my web server, I'm going to use a very popular JavaScript web framework called Express. With Express, we can use a couple of lines of code to create a web server, but you don't have to use Express. You can use any web framework that you like, as long as you can respond to HTTP requests with XML. So in your own web framework, just follow along so that you are outputting the same values as I am. All right, here's an example of a web server that says hello world. I've also dropped this code in the description below. Let's quickly look through it. We have Express and we're bringing it in and we are going to use a port of 3000. We're going to set up our web server so that anytime somebody makes a get request to the root URL, we'll respond with hello world. Now, when we run this code, we can head over to our browser and navigate to localhost 3000. And we can see the words, hello world. We have a server now that is responding to get requests and responding with the words, hello world. But let's change things up a little. Remember Twilio's markup language or Twimmel? Well, that is a file format that we called XML. We need to change this root or route for my American friends so that it serves XML instead of just plain text. To do this in Express, I just set the type of the response to XML. Also, right now this server only responds to GET requests, which is perfect for our browser. But we're going to be receiving POST requests from Twimmel. Now Express has this neat little feature that lets us accept both GET and POST requests. So rather than using app.get, I'm going to use app.all. In a production environment, you'd probably use app.post to only handle POST requests. Next, let's change the text that we send back. Hello world isn't valid XML, but Twimmel is. I'm going to go ahead and write Twimmel just like last time. This time, let's say hello from the server. Perfect, now let's restart our server. In the terminal, I'll use the control C shortcut to stop my server and then start it again just like last time. Now if we refresh my web page at localhost 3000, it shows the Twimmel that we just wrote. Now the server is ready to be called by Twilio. But there's just one problem. A local host URL is only available locally on this computer. However, I need to make a URL that is available for Twilio. Now under production circumstances, I would have a public web server up and running. However, in the short term, to work on my app, I'll be using the tool that I talked about earlier. 
ngrok creates a temporary tunnel from my local host to an ngrok URL. So using ngrok, I'm going to create a HTTP tunnel to my local machines port 3000. And I'm going to do that with the command ngrok HTTP 3000. Now ngrok is going to create a temporary URL that you can use. You can actually copy the URL into your browser and you should see exactly what we had at localhost 3000. However, this is now available on the internet. You would never use this in a production environment, but this is really good for fast prototyping. All right, now we have a web server that can serve Twimmel over the internet. We can give Twilio this URL and it will make a request to our server anytime our phone number receives a phone call. Back in the Twilio console, let's go over to our phone number. We can update it so that when a call comes in, rather than just using a Twimmel bin, let's use a webhook and have Twimmel make a post request to the ngrok URL that we were using. Now don't forget to hit save. Now Twilio will make a request to our web server whenever we receive a phone call. It's time to pause and test this for yourself. Give your phone number a ring and you should hear it respond with the instructions from the web server. Pause this video now and give it a go. Perfect. Now that you've got it working, let's change things up a little. So far, we've been writing the Twimmel ourselves. However, this can get quite busy when we start to write more complex chains of Twilio instructions. Rather than writing out each Twimmel verb and noun, we can use the Twilio helper libraries to generate our Twimmel. Now, this is slightly different in each language, but I'm going to show you how it works for JavaScript. Back in our code, let's use the Twilio helper library to bring in this voice response. We can then create a new voice response. And then we can add our say instruction. If we want to chain instructions together, we can just add more instructions underneath. For example, I'm going to add a play underneath. Finally, we need to change our response to send the twimmel as a string. Okay, time to restart the server. Pause this video and give your phone number another call. If you copy the twimmel that I wrote, you should hear the twimmel instructions that we just wrote together. So give it a try. Now that we can generate Twimmel from our own web servers, we can use all our other coding skills to manipulate the Twimmel instructions we create. Maybe you want to use a conditional to say certain things at certain times, or use another API to get information from elsewhere like a weather report. A good example would be some Twimmel that says the office is closed after a certain time. Let's do that now. I'm going to edit the code and get today's date and time. I'll then be using an if else statement to handle the condition. I'll check the hours of the time and check if it's after 5 p.m. or 17. If it is, I will have Twimmel say that the office is closed. Otherwise, I will say that the office is open. Once again, restart your server and give your phone number a call. Based on the time of day, you should hear one of those phrases. Now feel free to change the number to test both sides of those conditionals. I'm waiting for you. Pause it now. Congratulations, now you have the power to dynamically control the Twimmel that you create. Now at this point, the biggest limitation on what you do from here is your creativity. I'll be seeing you on the next video where we'll cover how to record and transcribe phone calls. Up until then, use your creativity, build something cool. I can't wait to see it.